we see this? Am I zoomed in enough? Animal Kingdom. Very exciting. Uh, going to explore Pandora. I'm so excited for that. Uh, and then later on, I got an appointment, which I don't know if I'm going to make a separate vlog or not. Might be the same one. Depends on how crappy today is. <laughs> Let's go. All right. After a brief little coffee pickup, it's finally time to see Pandora, and I'm. I think actually might be more excited for this than I am that I was to see Toy Story Land, which is crazy. Oh my god, it looks so cool. Like, just walking in and seeing this big ugly thing. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> I think it's also because recently, um, I don't know if any of you guys watch Bright Sun Films. Uh, it's a great YouTube channel. I'm going to link it in the description. They recently did a video on um, abandoned, I mean canceled. Beastly Kingdom, and that's exactly where Pandora is supposed to be. And I got really into it. So I'll link that and we're gonna go walk around. Thank you. I feel like frequently everyone else in Disney World does this, is not excited to be here. Like, performers are like, yeah, what do you think of that? Crickets, and I'm like, what? I got dirty looks at the Halloween party. Right, right, there's the guy giving me dirty looks at the parade. Yes. Yeah, so and there was another woman next to her that did the same thing. Like, when they were like, everybody scream, and she screamed, and this lady looked at her like, and I was like, Right in the right. Come on, and it's like, imagine you were that performer, your job is to get the crowd going, and you're like, dead. Yeah, nobody's going. It's just like so boring. Like, I've been yeah, so raise your hands Come on, you gotta do something. Okay, just finished Flight of Pat, and not, I wish we just finished Flight of Passage. <laughs> just finished Navi River Journey. <laughs> finally hit me, you know, oh after God, coming to Disney for 20 years or whatever, that the boat rides, it's not really supposed to be a ride, I think. I think it's more about a floating museum, for real. Like, it was so beautiful in Navi River Journey, and I think that's just like a testament to what Imagineering can do in uh, 2017 when this opened. And I feel like if you think about all the other boat rides and refurbishments and things that's happened over the years with those rides, it really is about showcasing the talent, you know? And I feel like it makes a lot more sense with like some of the rides that are less story driven, which, you know, aren't many because most things here are story driven. But I don't know, it was just so serene in there and that, that thought just came to me. Other thoughts. Uh, all of the theming here in Pandora is, excuse the pun, out of this world. Like, it's so different than every other parts of the parks. Like, even the name tags are different, which I don't know how I feel about that. Because they kind of look like universal name tags. <laughs> uh, and I get that, oh yeah, they're supposed to be working for an outside company, but there's so many other lands and different parks and everything where that's also the case, but they still got regular Disney name tags. So I don't know, but even their, their touch points for um, Magic Bands and Fast Passes and whatnot, those aren't even Mickey heads either. So, I don't know, it's just interesting thoughts that if they did it here, which is, you know, supposed to be not on Earth, and it's a brand new world, I wonder if they are going to do that. Or Galaxy's Edge, which is the same thing, you know, brand new world, big IP that's very popular and is not supposed to take place on Earth. So I guess we will have to wait and find out until next summer. 
in the meantime, let's go do more stuff. I don't know what we're doing. Probably eating. Okay. So, it's a Tuli Canteen. That's where we are. I got to create your own bowl with chicken, potato mash, and uh, bean vinaigrette. So, let's gonna... Let's try this. It looks very interesting and I'm very excited. Very Instagrammy. I don't need to take a picture of this. I'm sure there's plenty of pictures online of this. Uh, let's see. So it reminds me of Thai food, but like a lot less spicy. So if you always wanted to try Thai food but are always afraid of how spicy it is, it's a truly campaign. 10 out of 10. Recommend. Oh yeah. I don't um, they gave Alana a free cupcake for her birthday party. I would never oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to tear the camera on you while you got noodles coming out of your mouth. How cute is that? Alana got the seasonal, what was it? It was like the, the seasonal special or something. It's the, the noodle shrimp. What do you think? Really good. It has like a little bit of a cake, but it's not That's good. Alright, we're gonna go enjoy this lovely food because I want to savor this. <laughs> so, we just got off Everest. And I'm sorry, I have to take a second here to be a saleswoman because I kept my ears on for like the first time. And I must say, I'm very proud of myself because I felt very secure with these on. Guys, uh, I know I make these, but you know, as somebody who, you know, I love to review things and show things to you guys on my channel, I felt like these things were not going anywhere. I, usually when you wear ears on rides, you're worried because I feel like they have so much weight. That's a funny pun. Weight like mass and then weight like hold on. I'm sorry. <laughs> they have so much weight you feel like, you know, with physics they're just gonna plop off your head. But because these are so light and it's a plastic frame instead of like a fabric kind of headband, it has more hold to it. So if you guys want something that's more robust for the parks, dainty yet robust, I'm telling you. Etsy.com slash shop slash use guys merchandise. Don't know how to spell it. It's the name of this channel. So just look down right below this video and it'll tell you how to spell it. <laughs> okay, back in Pandora and I am ready to try always Instagrammed Night Blossom Dream. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, good, good. It's not just good for an Instagram pic, it's good for flavor. Oh, I got it with rum. How's the feeling with rum? Wonderful. Very delicious. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna continue drinking this. Try some boba balls. I've never had boba before. And um, maybe we'll buy a flight of passage. The time is slowly going down, so we'll see. Hi. So, we have been having a day and a half, uh, and it's been so completely uh, non vlog material. But basically, we are back at Pandora, and I understand for you guys, we never left Pandora, but trust me. We left and had a wild time here at the Animal Kingdom. Uh, but anyway, we are back to explore the beautiful lights of Pandora at night, but so far I'm not seeing any, so let's go investigate that situation. I really wasn't sure what I was hoping for, but you knew everything you've done is all before. You know what I want, babe. You know everything that gets me going. You know what I want, babe. All the little things that I'm not showing. You know what I want, babe. And you know 
flights everywhere. Look at Alana glowing with her shoes. <laughs> yes, both. Yes, give us a twirl. Come on, girl. <laughs> Flight passage went down to 80 minutes, so we're going to do it. When you go in, I don't know if this is standard or just because it's the end of the night. We got a paper thing, and we'll see how this goes. <laughs> But it was not that. That amazing. Probably the best ride on Disney property. Amazing. Like, okay, so I thought, like, I kind of knew what the ride was, but no. I knew there was some kind of bike involved. So basically, it's like Soren on steroids. Like, it's a million times better than Soren, but you're on this bike and there's like air, like my ears are so cold because it was such cold air and water and it was so beautiful. Guys, okay, it's like the wait time, you see it and it looks so scary, but on, if you've never been on this before, every single second of that wait time is worth it. And you know me, I do not wait for anything. And I just waited 70 minutes for a ride and I would gladly do it again. It was amazing. Okay, back at the hotel room. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I haven't obviously edited the footage yet or anything, but just kind of looking back on what I shot, uh, I'm going to apologize in advance if this vlog kind of sucked. I did a lot of things today that didn't really make the vlog, because let me tell you, it is low-key stressful to try to, you know, vlog your Disney time and uh, post on your personal Insta stories and your business insta stories and your snapchats and like still trying to enjoy it while not looking at your trip through a screen so here are some highlights that didn't make the vlog i exposed the crap out of the your most beautiful wall uh, i finally found where it is i've never seen it before until today and it's right next to a cast member entrance so i don't understand how people can take pictures with this wall and not feel awkward because there are lots of cast members around in the harm the the place the eating place I don't even know what it's called because I was just like this is where it is uh, and they're all just looking at you so you taking a picture next to the cast member entrance kind of weird we met Doug and Russell they're super cute we had a great time I feel like my uh, understanding our furry friends is getting so much better Russell and I sang happy birthday to Alana and it was really fun. And Alana's like, how did you get sang to me out of that? She's like, what? What are you doing? <laughs> um, and <laughs> Alana was sitting there the whole time and she was like, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> and you were the one who's like, let's go meet Doug and Russell. I know, but I needed every moment. I don't like people saying happy birthday to me in general. <laughs> I promise not to do it on your birthday then. Uh, and then, and then we got this amazingly hilarious magic shot that, I mean, it's just a red, it's a regular magic shot, but Alana and I just find it so funny because, I don't know, our faces, even <laughs> our photo pass photographer, she was like, nice faces, ladies. <laughs> and then I'm awkwardly pointing to the ground too. It's... It's an interesting time. You're doing a very uh, John Travolta. I really am! Oh my god, zoom in on those that fingers, movie. Liz. Saturday Night Fever. That's what that movie that is. That is. That's it. That's it. <laughs> ding, ding, ding! Um, and that is it. Um, that other thing that I told you that might be a separate vlog, um, it's not because it didn't happen today. <laughs> Uh, so tomorrow we are at Epcot, so I don't know when you guys are going to see the vlog. It might be next week. It might be the week after. I guess we'll find out together. <laughs> Have a seamless night, everyone. Bye. What you gonna do with all that cash?